Our next step is to make the label look three-dimensional. And this has a few steps along the way to get there. So I'm just going to zoom. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole label. The first thing I want to do is merge the layers that have the olives and the word oleo. So to do that, I click on the olives and then shift click on oleo so that both layers are selected. And then I can right click and merge layers or I can go to up here and do layer merge layers. Either way works fine. I think in photo P you might have to do it up here. So now once these are merged we're going to make what is called a smart object. We're going to group it as a smart object. So I need to select every layer except the background layer. So I'm going to click on the blank label and then scroll up to the top, shift, click, and that selects all of my layers. You can see that they're all grayed. Once I've done that, there's a few ways you can do this. This is a drop down menu that gives you the option, or I can um, right click here and That isn't giving it to me, so I'm going to go here. Um, convert to Smart Object. So what a Smart Object does is if I click here, I, I still can edit all of the layers within that Smart Object. So that's what the... Um, benefit of having a smart object is. So back here, converted to a smart object. Next we're going to warp that. You can do this a number of ways. Um, edit, transform, warp, and we want to view, show, well it's saying we're showing guides, okay. If you don't have the guides um, open, you'll want to add that. And now, to make this look really good and to look three-dimensional, you're going to drag down these little dots. You want to drag them straight down and make them so they're pretty even. And you'll want to do each batch, not just like the top and bottom, because otherwise it doesn't all get warped looking and three-dimensional. So you might have to play with it a little to get it to, to look really good. And you can look at the um, one that's, that's up there of how we're supposed to make it look. So once you have it, so it looks like that, a three-dimensional bottle label, you are good to go. I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to place. Now I'm ready to submit. I do not want you to do the last step that the book said, says, which is to now flatten this image. I want this submitted like this with these two layers as a Photoshop document and also as a JPEG. So when you submit this project, it's two different versions. One, the Photoshop document so I can see your work here and the smart object the other, the JPEG. If you just submit the JPEG, you can't get full credit because I can't see your work. I need to see your work. And all of ours will look slightly different because we're going to have our warp will be a little different or our lines here. So none of them will look exactly the same and that's all good. Also, I think those in Photo P don't have Adobe Garamond, so they will have used a different serif font. Okay, so that is this um, lesson. And then after that, we get to do our own, which is 09 Start Extra. So submit this. This is due tomorrow, but I will give those of you who are ready to start with 09 Start Extra the initial 
directions. Okay, best of luck.